Alrighty, hey guys, this is JC Bowers. Today we're at Wabash and I'm going to talk to y'all about mosquito repellent plants. So let's just keep in mind, right, that if I get one citronella plant, that's not gonna keep all the mosquitoes away. What these plants do is it, all, all they really do is just irritate their senses and it repels them. It doesn't kill them or anything like that. So that being said, we have lemongrass, citronella, scented geranium, all of these things, anything that really has a strong aroma, right? And so what we recommend to people, what they should do like before they go out on their patio or areas where they wanna sit is to have all of their you know, mosquito repellent plants to activate them. And the way we activate them is either by touching them that releases those oils or watering, um, really movement that allows those aromas to break out and get in the air and then once they get in the air then uh, they can start doing you know their jobs so a few really great things that we have here this is the scented geranium citronella comes from the scented geranium family uh, the thing that repels your mosquitoes is the lemon smell so things like lemon balm uh, lemongrass I also have. Everything actually comes from this lemongrass family. This is how we originally found out that mosquitoes are repelled by this scent. Um, peppermint is also a fantastic one. Oregano is as well. And um, I have a bunch of different citronellas. So what I usually recommend to people is we want to get a combination of things. Let's do some lemon balm. Let's do some citronella, some oregano, some peppermint, and sort of make a smorgasbord out of it. I had a customer come in the other day, um, and her son ha is uh, allergic to mosquitoes. And so, you know, he can't go out very much, which is a total bummer. So we tried to get this design going and have these different plants so that she can replicate this throughout her yard and he can go outside and enjoy, you know, what little good weather we get. Um, so these are becoming very popular. Some of them are perennials. We definitely need to have them in the garden regardless and uh, plant on and come on by and see us.